Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React Node.js. Today we are going to learn about the how to verify the phone number using the Twilio in Node.js and the React. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So let's try to send the first the OTP. Okay, so here I'm going to send the OTP first on my mobile number. okay send otp okay so here fail to send the otp and what's the error in the console is there any error coming over here two number is not a valid number okay so let me go to the that previous screen send otp okay so i need to add my number plus nine one nine eight triple five double nine one nine three Let's send OTP. OTP sent successfully. That let's see. You can see the vibration, the notification is coming up. Let's add the OTP. That is nine. Let me nine. Oh, let me open the phone. Nine four nine six nine I, last digit is six if i put one then what happened error verifying the no otp let's add the six okay this is the correct one okay verify otp otp verified successfully you can see that and the response is true okay and then after that you can redirect to the another screen the dashboard or something right so how we are going to do that in react and the node.js let's dive into the code level before those who haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video please do like share and comment on my video so let's get started so we do the first that is called the node.js so we have the express body parser twilio mongoose course you need to install all of these packages with the npm i okay and on which port the server should run of the node you may you need to mention the port over here next step that is body parser okay then uh, these are the values of mongo url account sid auth token so you need to get this in the twilio account okay so when you go to the dashboard you will get all of these auth token and the account sid you don't know then do let me know in the comment section then we have a client new twilio account sid then there should be a account sid and the auth token combined okay then we are connecting the mongo db connection then define the schema that we are taking phone number and the OTP. Okay. Next, we have a model. Create a model for the OTP. So OTP model mongoose.model OTP schema. Then generate the random six digit number with the generate OTP. Returning the math.floor. Okay, then we have an API uh, to initialize the OTP generation and send to the user's phone number. Then send OTP. We are accepting the phone number from the React part and generate OTP okay then using the new otp model phone number otp we are going to save that document okay and then client dot messages will help you to create that message or create a message to send to your mobile phone that is that one so here we require the body that is otp from which you want to send and to which phone number okay if something goes wrong it will go into the catch block else it will show you the success with the otp okay then we have another api that is verify otp so we are picking up the phone number and the user otp and then find the phone number and the user otp matches if it is matches then the success is true if not then we are showing that invalid otp okay and error verifying the otp and after that app dot listen on which server it is listening so this is the back end part which is completed let's move to the front end part that is react Okay, so here we go with the React. This is app.js full fetch file. Okay, so I'm not using any kind of Redux or something, just doing the fetch API part because we don't require such kind of thing because OTP verification needs the API call and set that and send it over here, right? So I don't think so it's required. So we have the React Exios, React Ostify I'm using and then for the notifications, like you can see that the toast notifications, then React Router DOM. Okay, so the first one is the home component where we have a Twilio OTP verification with the phone number and the link to verify. On send OTP, link to verify OTP, right? The next one, we have the verify OTP screen where we are calling the API verify OTP with the phone number and the user OTP. If goes wrong, then success 
if go success then otp verified successfully if goes wrong then invalid otp and catch that error verifying otp okay and the last screen that is the verify otp screen where we are putting the otp and then setting the otp part and then handle verify otp so when we click on the handle verify otp it will call the api and whatever the response coming up on the behalf of it we can match the logic and uh, send the respective toast notifications whether it's to be success or error okay then we have a app so by default we have a state is um, empty that is phone number so phone number by default is empty once we are send the send otp so then we can set the state of that otp okay so here we have the routes for the verify otp and send otp or respective we are sending in the verify otp we are sending the phone number and in the send otp we are sending the phone number and handle send otp so here we are call the api section to send the otp okay so this is that one and then we have a toast container to enclose that after the routes and then export default app so mainly we have two things that is the path is verify otp where we have verify otp co component then we have a send otp component okay so here you can very if you go with the verify otp so here we are calling the api verify otp right and after that we are sending the notifications okay and the first one that we have the home component where we are just set the phone number over here and then we are clicking on the handle send otp okay so on click handle send otp send the otp part so here we go with that one so here we go with handle send otp so send otp function is over here in the app right so any doubt any query in that just do let me know on this comment section thank you so much for watching this video any doubt just do let me know okay have a great day